Hi guys, my name is Josh Bulos and I'm a part of Burlington High School's Help Desk. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Book Creator. Book Creator is the app in the middle of my screen. I'm going to click Book Creator. From here, as you can see, I've already created some books. I'm going to hit New Book in the top left to create a new book. From here, I get to choose my book shape. For a side note to teachers, if you want your students to combine their books, they have to have the same they all have to have the same book shape. So I'm gonna choose landscape on the right. Hit landscape and it'll take you to the cover page. It'll take you to the cover page and to add things to the cover page, you're going to hit the plus sign in the top right. As you can see, I can add photos, I can access my camera, I can draw things by hitting pen, I can add text, and I can add sound. So to add a photo, I'm going to click photos. You're going to have to enable photos, it'll ask you that. I'm going to go to my camera roll, I'm going to scroll to the top, hit the B, I'm going to add the B to my page. I can make my picture bigger by dragging the end of it. I can delete a picture by holding down the picture and cut, copy, paste, or lock will come up. So I'm going to hit cut if I want to delete the picture, but for right now I'm going to leave it. Next, if I want to add a picture that I'm, I could take right now, I can hit the plus sign, then I hit camera. And as you can see, I can take a picture right here. So I take the picture, and if I want to retake the picture, I hit the bottom left retake, or if I want to use the photo, I, mean, I hit the bottom right, and I'm going to do that. So I'm going to hit the bottom right, use photo. I'm going to make it smaller by dragging the end. And you can move a picture by just holding down and dragging it across your page. I'll make it a little bit smaller. To add drawings, you hit the plus sign and then you're gonna hit pen. As you can see, I now can draw anything on my screen or my page. And to pick what color I want, I hit the black button at the top right. I can pick any standard colors or I can hit more which will allow me to customize my own color. As you can see I can customize my own. I'm going to go red in the top right and then you simply hit apply in the top right and just like that I can type if I want to erase my drawing I hit the eraser in the top right and I could erase, I just simply drag and I can erase anything on my pictures that I'd like. When I'm done with my drawing, I hit the done button in the top right. And just like any picture, if I want to make my drawing bigger or smaller, I drag the end. And just like a picture, if I want to move it, hold down and drag. So just like that, that is how you draw on your screen. Now if I want to add text hit the plus sign again and go down to add text click on that. It will bring you to where you can type. So I'm going to type BHS help desk. When you're done typing you hit the done button in the top right. To drag your text again you hold down the text and you can move it. To make the text bigger you're gonna hit the I in the top right. Now you can drag this button beside the A and this will make your picture or your text um, bigger. You can make it bold by hitting the B. You can make it italic by hitting the I and you can underline your text by hitting the U. You can also change the font size by hitting font. They give you a lot of options for font. I'm going to hit graduate 
I'll go back and from here I can again choose my color again I can choose any standard color I can hit more and customize my own color for this I'm just gonna hit red and just like that it automatically applies now if I wanna make my text in the middle or on the left side or right side of my screen hit the bottom right beside a line hit the middle side of the text when you're done you simply just click the page and it'll it'll apply right away just like that if you want to add sound you hit the bottom add sound from here you're gonna hit the red button to start recording BHS help desk you tap it again when you're done recording and it, you hit yes if you want to use the recording or no if you don't want to use it so I'm going to hit yes and you simply just put this on whatever page you'd like the recording to be on so I'll leave it on the home one now to change your page background you click the eye on the top you go to the page tab on the top right and you can choose you hit the page color and you can choose whatever page color you want as your background so I'm gonna hit blue standard just like this you can so just like that you can change your background color now to access more pages you hit the arrow on the right side of your screen in the middle when you create a book you automatically it automatically comes with three pages so I'm gonna go to the third page to add another page to add a fourth page fifth page you click the plus button on the right side now if I want to delete a page you hit pages in the top left from here it's gonna show you the display of all your pages you're gonna hold down the number and the pages will start shaking and then again you hold you click that number and just like that copy insert delete and share will come up and you're gonna click delete and I'm gonna do these with all my pages and when you get down to your last two pages you cannot delete those ones so when you're done deleting you hit done in the top right and to access your book again you double click your page that you want to go to now when you're done with your book you can export it to any app you'd like so you can do it directly by in your book by hitting the top right the arrow that's pointing up you can send it to notes classroom ibooks drive there's a lot more other apps that you can um, send it to but I'm gonna show you a different way to export it to Google Classroom because that's what we use it here in Burlington High School and now I'm going to show you how to submit my book into Google Classroom. I'm gonna hit the arrow pointed up in the bottom on the right to export my video. I'm gonna hit export video. From here I'm gonna scroll over to Google Classroom. I'm gonna hit the Google Classroom app. Now I'm going to attach my book to the correct assignment. So I'm going to hit the arrow pointed right below attach. From here I'm going to click the correct assignment. My assignment is book creator tutorial. Now once you've attached your book to the correct assignment, you're going to hit attach in the top right. Now I'm going to exit out of Book Creator and go to the Google Classroom app. From here you go to the correct class and then you go to the correct assignment. As I said my assignment is Book Creator Tutorial so I'm going to click on that assignment. Now I'm going to go to your, it's called Your Work, the tab Your Work. Click on that, and as you can see, my book that I just exported to Google Classroom is here. 
So all I'm going to do is hit resubmit because I've already submitted before. And once the green, I'm going to hit turn in. Then once the green check mark pops up, that's when you know you've submitted. And that is how you turn into Google Classroom.